Well, guys, we just came back from an amazing trip. What happened is that we were visiting Venezuela and we were on the Tepuis. You saw the Roraima video probably already. One of the most amazing trip I've ever done in my life. But then we also took advantage that we were with my mate, brother David Escanio. We were with Ivan Lau, our great friend from here, Colombia, and Leon Moore, our friend from uh, Guyana. Great guy, top guys. And we went to the Venezuelan Andes because we wanted to see a helmet crest, a hummingbird that is very special. So day one of our Andean expedition, and, you know, six in the morning, having breakfast here. And look at this, look at these chaps. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. What are we, what are we gonna look for today? We're gonna try the helmet crest. This weird, white, beard. highly adapted hummingbird to highlands and used to be one species, but now there's and more. Endemic of Venezuela, we just lock. The species of hummingbird totally specialized to the highlands of the Andes. And, you know, a few years ago, probably 10 years ago, it was only one species. And it was only one species because no one had really, really, uh, you know, took the scientific approach to split these things, to, you know, study, check the colors, check the songs, check the DNA, check the distribution. So the thing with the helmet crest is that it ranges in the Venezuelan Andes, you know, mainly in Merida and a little bit of Barinas, and then in Colombia. And in Colombia, there were like three main populations, one in the Santa Marta Mountains, one in the Eastern Andes, and one in the Central Andes. No helmet crest, supposedly, in the Western Andes of Colombia. And it's super obvious that the one in the central Andes that is called Stubelli, it has, you know, totally purple, uh, violet throat. The one in the eastern Andes in Bogota, Guerini, has green throat. Cianolemus in Santa Marta has blue throat. And the one in the Venezuelan Andes, Lindeni, has white throat. So these things were split. Three of them are endemic to Colombia, one is endemic to Venezuela, and this was my very last helmet crest. So I wanted so much to go up there because I wanted to complete my set of the four helmet crests. So we basically drove to the Andes of Venezuela. Amazing landscape, crazy mountains, beautiful paramo habitat, very different to our Colombian paramos. And we tried, we tried, we got the glimpses of the bird. I missed it. It was pretty crazy because, you know, when, when you're in a group of people and one of you especially, I mean, if you missed it and everyone is seen it, you start to feel like, shit, you know, are these guys gonna stay with me? Are these guys gonna cooperate and help me or they are going like birding for other stuff? So this is the situation here. Uh, beautiful paramo, beautiful weather, helmet crest. Um, it's been flying around a couple of times and I have missed it. David saw it well, Leon saw it well, and I have never got a glimpse, so keep trying. Eventually, I could get good views. And we got to see the most amazing of the shows because we found a little perch. It loved like a exposed rocky outcrop with some little plants. It loved to perch there. So we did some digiscoping, we got really good views of the animals. So we got the bird, amazing male, white beard. Do you like it? Yes, love it. But I put my cell phone on a slow mo just there in the rock without a tripod. I just put it with, with some rocks and a t-shirt and a, and, a, and a sweater and a hoodie. And then what happens is that the hummingbird came and, you know, probably right now, guys, you're watching that amazing shot. I'm not ashamed to say that that's probably the very best footage of white beard the helmet crest that there is. And you're watching it now here on the Birder Show, guys. So, David, tell us, is this a lifer for you, white beard the helmet crest? Sort of. Why? Because the last time I was here, it has a mean split. It was called Bearded. Bearded. Was this a lifer for you, sir? It definitely is. Has visto ese pájaro tú, Tomás? Sí, lo he visto con David aquí hace muchos años. No, a lifer for him. No, no, a lifer for me. The white bearded helmet crest. Chipogon Lindani. Yeah. Salud, pana. <laughs>